good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are around the planet. This video is about just creating a simple ebook template. Very straightforward. So you can either be working off a PLR ebook if you like, or you can just go into your uh, Word document. I'm using Microsoft Word 2007. I use a Vistas engine, so perhaps that might be one reason, if at all, that you're seeing things at a different layout, but the names of the tabs will be basically the same. So usually, what we want, what we'd want in at the top, the header would be a, a logo, an image of some sort of description, and at the footer, we'd have our own link to our business or whatever. And of course, if you're working from an existing one, then then you'll need to remove the top, the bottom, or you can just download your own Word document out from OpenOffice.org. There's no issue there at all. So here we go. Um, there's two ways we can go to open up the header. Is double click it, as I've just done, double using the left left click, double left click, or you can come up here if you follow the mouse up to the top left, click insert, and you can come into the header that way. Okay, there's no um, or the foot or whatever you like. So once you double click, you got in there, highlight whatever there's in there, and just delete it out. Now, of course, you know you'd want to be applying your own image. So for argument's sake, uh, let's put that in there. Uh, just copy that. Whatever image you've got paste it in there or whatever now that might look a bit too big because I've now got a big fat header I right click whatever I put in there click onto size this dialog box will appear and you just where it says height there or whatever you, you'd uh, click the little drop down at the bottom and it'll reduce it until you want it to stop and then you just let go and it's done double click out of that and then you've got your own logo at the top. Now, of course, in the bottom here, uh, what I generally like to have in my footer, but you can have it in your, in the, in the header if you like, is the page numbering. I like uh, page one of two as opposed to just page one. You can just decide what you like as you want to. So uh, once again, I double click into that. Um, I'd remove whatever there is in there. I come up um, to insert and midway there at the top you can see page numbers click onto that now you can choose if you want you if you're at the using at the top of the page the bottom of the page or whatever page margin well, we're not doing page margin so the bottom there uh, okay page 13 I'm going to click that so there we have our uh, page numbering in there I want to make sure that's the right and of course we need now our Earl so um, rather than t type it all in because I'm a slow typer I'm going to just copy and paste an Earl in there all I'm doing now is just right clicking uh, the space just to make sure there's no so it's not a fat winding me up here, here I think just kind of deleting you know the space in between there and okay once again double click out and I've got my Earl and my page numbering in there so now I can remove that link I don't need it now for the first page of course normally you'd uh, have a, it'd be a cover page and also you know you can also decide whether or not what orientation you like this to be in i.e. would you like it to be in landscape would you like it to be in portrait yeah in which case either way is both the same theme so uh, let's go for portrait on this example anyway and what do we want now we'd like a border so if we go into references at the top there I think I've gone wrong there slightly. Page layout, sorry, page page layout at the top layer tab, and then page borders. Click that, and in the mid there you see that there's 
a little box there you can scroll down and choose uh, a border or you can in fact go for a colored a colorful one uh, let's go for um, something like that but whatever you know it'll set it all out for you doesn't look great I know but hey you know this is just an example so you've got all that sorted now the first page of course is going to be your for your ebook e cover um, you could either do a flat type or you can do the book looking type oh well, let's do the book looking type on this one but you're going to leave it blank because not all your ebooks are going to be the same from the same color but this is just okay let's look good does it <laughs> because it's not big enough and the second page that you want is going to be for your legal disclaimer your your legal page and in which case you'll actually want to um, seek legal advice for that really because there's no I can't tell you what you're going to be putting in there um, that wouldn't be right um, because you'll have things like if 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 you're if you're uh, um, going to attempt to put affiliate links throughout your ebook then you're going to need to be claiming that and you'll also need to be telling them you know um, what rights you're offering so okay so I, I've just for example um, gone into a PLR uh, ebook that doesn't have a header and footer by the way so you might as well work from a clean document and I'm just basically taking I'm just copy and pasting the legal notice from there which is which would not be adequate for you of course you know the contents of which are pretty outdated and no good you'll have to edit your own and, and sort it that way now of course the next page that you'll want will be your table of contents so if you come up to the top up here and go for references and to the far left here you'll see table of contents click that and make a choice there of what you want now um, I'm going to click that one if there aren't enough pages there well fine you can um, you can adjust you, you can adjust any any way you like this um, what comes up you can highlight it copy come to the end of the the, the last bottom one and make a new um, sort of kind of new page line and just copy paste as much as what you want in there obviously now the numbers are all wrong but you know you you just basically edit what you like as and when you like so if you don't like the idea that you've now got subheadings and you want them all flush that's no problem at, at all either you can do just that you can do just about anything you like on there okay and like I say if you want that flush you just come to the left hand side of the two and then press the delete and it all flushes up put one numbers you like in there in fact you can even as you as you would do normally in any document pick any you know any any font format you like etc whether you want it bold yeah so no issue there okay so what else would there be I don't think there is anything else So you've got the, you've got the time of the contents naturally you would not have that um, you'd have that blank and of course then of, um, then of course you'd really want to uh, set up your line the space line so every time now you get space line in which which isn't an issue you know okay well let's for arguments I highlight that lot and I want line spacing to be 1.5 it's set at 150 in a minute well let's set it at 1.5 and set it on whatever whatever font you like so basically now you come in now you save this document and every time you you want to set up an ebook bank come straight in there and you know f fill in what first page you'll, you'll set up your cover page with whatever you like legal documents should all be set up you wouldn't have this sort of silly palm tree uh, borderline in fact let's improve on the borderline let's have just one of these ordinary ones here let's try that one there let's make that sensible 
and of course you know then you can go straight into cooking off onto your own ebook and that finalizes this video thank you